Hey guys, uh, something that you've probably heard a lot about sunscreen is that you need to use a necessary amount, otherwise it's not effective. So in studies where researchers look at the amount of sunscreen that people apply without being told how much to apply, they generally find that most people don't apply enough. Now obviously that varies from person to person. Uh, some people apply as little as a quarter of the necessary amount. Most people apply around half. And obviously some people do apply enough and some people apply more. There are certain groups of people that tend to apply um, more sunscreen. Uh, in one study, people in the military, for example, uh, tended to apply more sunscreen than civilians. So what happens if you don't apply uh, the required amount of sunscreen? Well, you're not going to get the protection on the label. So in studies where researchers apply half or a quarter of the amount of sunscreen that you need, uh, they found that there was a relationship between the reduction in SPF and protection and the amount that you applied. So in one study, they found with an SPF 30 product, um, that if you applied half, that you would get somewhere around an SPF 15, and if you applied a quarter, you would get somewhere around an SPF 7. Now, not every study finds such a linear one-to-one uh, -one relationship. In another study, they found um, that the relationship was a little bit more complicated uh, when they applied half of the required amount of sunscreen. The SPF didn't drop by half, but it dropped by about three quarters. In any case, knowing that most of us don't apply enough sunscreen, a lot of us sort of think we have more protection on our skin than we actually do. So on the back of sunscreens in the instructions, it'll usually say like apply liberally, but that doesn't actually really explain to us how much sunscreen we need to use. And there actually is a specific amount that we should be using. And that's two milligrams of sunscreen per square centimeter of skin. Now that's a standard that the US FDA put first put forward, and that was soon adopted uh, around the world. And that's the density or the amount of sunscreen on the skin they use when they test uh, the SPF of a product. And newer UVA PF or protection factor tests are also using that same density. So if you want the protection on the label, you want to recreate those conditions as closely as possible. Um, and one of the ways we can do that is putting on two milligrams of sunscreen per centimeter of skin. Now, two milligrams of sunscreen per centimeter of skin is, it's very specific, um, but it's not actually that useful when, you know, you're looking in the mirror and putting on sunscreen. So there are recommendations like use a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen for your face. That's probably the one that I hear of most, but it's important to keep in mind that that recommendation is based on an estimate. It's based on the estimate of the surface area of an average face, um, and as we all know, you know, an average face isn't going to work for everyone. But there's actually a really easy way we can get a more accurate uh, measurement of the surface area of our face. And the way we can do that is actually just to use a sheet mask. So you're going to want to get a sheet mask that fits your face pretty well. And by that I mean it should um, adhere to all the contours of your face. It shouldn't be lifting off in any places. And it should, uh, it should fit the perimeter of your face as well. Once we have the sheet mask that fits our face well, we can take the, we can measure or estimate the surface area of the sheet mask, and that's gonna give us an estimate of the surface area of our face. So doing that is actually pretty easy, and what you wanna do is take your sheet mask and fold it in half horizontally, and then fold it in half vertically. And then you're gonna need a ruler, uh, preferably one that measures in centimeters so we don't have to do unit conversions later on, and you wanna measure the width of it and the height. So in my case, uh, the width of this is 12 centimeters and the height of it is 10 centimeters. Now, most sheet masks are oval or round. Um, if your sheet mask is a little bit more square or a little bit differently shaped, estimating it as a circle or oval isn't gonna give you as exact of an answer. What you can do in that situation is get centimeter grid paper, lay it down on that paper and you know just count the squares and that'll give you uh, the surface area. So because my sheet mask is oval, I'm going to use the formula for uh, the surface area of an oval. And this is actually going to work for a circle as well. So what you want to do is take those two measurements, the width and the height, multiply them together, and then multiply that by pi. So in my case, it's 10 centimeters multiplied by 12 centimeters multiplied by pi, 3.14. And that gives me 376.8 centimeters squared. 
So that's the surface area of my sheet mask and an estimate of the surface area of my face. So I'm actually going to bump up my estimate to 380. I'm going to round it up and that's because I want to err on the side of putting on more sunscreen than less and it's also an easier number to work with. Now we have an estimate of the surface area of our face and we can use that to figure out how much sunscreen we need to put on. So we know that we need two milligrams of sunscreen per centimeter square of face. So we multiply our measurement or our estimate, which was 380 centimeters squared, multiplied by two milligrams per centimeter squared. And that gives me 760 milligrams. So for my face, I'm gonna need about 760 milligrams of sunscreen to get close uh, to the labeled protection. So I think most of us probably won't keep a scale in the bathroom to measure out you know, the dose of sunscreen every time we use it, but we can take that, uh, that weight amount and convert it into volume. And then using that, we can get an idea of how much we should be using every day. So the other thing about sunscreen estimations, like a quarter teaspoon for the face, is that they're not just estimating the surface area of the face, um, they're also estimating the density of the sunscreen, because we need to convert it from weight into volume, or amount of liquid. So a lot of these, uh, they make an assumption that the sunscreen has the same density as water, which is one milliliter of water is equal to about a gram um, by weight. And remember that density can change by temperature, so keep that in mind. So while a lot of sunscreens do contain water, um, they have other ingredients there as well. Sunscreen chemicals, organic sunscreens, for example, um, are usually lipids, and they're gonna have a density that's a little bit lower than water. On the other hand, inorganic chemicals like titanium dioxide or zinc oxide, they're gonna have a much higher density than water. So estimating it at one may work for an average of many sunscreens, but for your specific sunscreen, it may not be accurate. So to figure out the density of a sunscreen, um, we're gonna need to measure it. So what you wanna do is measure out a known volume of the sunscreen. Um, I measured out three milliliters of my sunscreen, and then I weighed that three or four times, and then took the average of those weights. And then you're gonna divide the weight by the volume. So in my case, uh, three milliliters of sunscreen came out to 2,850 milligrams of sunscreen. So I'm going to divide 2,850 milligrams by three milliliters. And that leaves me with 950 milligrams per milliliter. And that's the density of my sunscreen at that temperature. So for every milliliter of sunscreen that I pour out, I'm going to get around 950 milligrams of sunscreen. And if you remember from my estimate, I actually need 760 milligrams. So what I want to do is figure out how much, how many milliliters I need to pour out. It's gonna be slightly less than one. Um, so what we need to do is divide the amount of sunscreen we need by our sunscreen's density. So in this case, it's 750 milliliters divided by 950 milligrams per milliliters. And once we cross out the units, that leaves us uh, with 0 0.75 milliliters. So for my, my face, I'm gonna need 0.75 mils of sunscreen to cover it adequately. If we think back to the recommendations of a quarter teaspoon, that translates to about 1.25 milliliters. So if I were to go by that recommendation, I would be using about half as much as I need um, unnecessarily. Now using too much sunscreen isn't necessarily um, a bad thing. Obviously it's gonna depend on your skin and the type of sunscreen that you're using, but there are some considerations. One, it may be a little bit wasteful if you're using a sunscreen that's kind of expensive. Um, you may want to just use the recommended amount uh, to get the protection on the label instead of going over. The other thing is that uh, with more sunscreens on your skin, they tend to get a little bit greasy or shiny or uncomfortable. And for a lot of people, that's the main reason they don't like having sunscreen on. So if we can use... Um, you know, the necessary amount, but not that much more, we can minimize those uncomfortable feelings. And that will encourage people to use um, sunscreen more routinely. The other thing we need to take into consideration is that the thicker the film of sunscreen, the longer that it's gonna to take to dry. Now, you want your sunscreen to dry pretty quickly because that allows it to form a very smooth and even surface on the skin. And that is gonna give you even coverage around the skin. So the longer that it stays wet, uh, the more time that it has to sort of move into the nooks and crannies of your skin. 
And the areas like the valleys, for example, are going to have more SPF and higher protection, but those hills are going to be less covered and you're going to get less coverage there. So overall, your coverage might be reduced. So I hope this little trick was helpful for you. Um, I hope you do try this out and measure or estimate the surface area, area of your face. And hopefully you'll share that in the comments because I think it'll be interesting to see, you know, the range and variation. Happy masking!